وما خلقنا السماوات والارض وما بينهما الا بالحق now the these remaining 15 ayat of this surah are very profound here actually the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is addressed in the very beginning what to do what are the people doing what you have to do what is the reaction of your nation what should be your you know attitude so these for all people who want to make dawa in the real sense of the word not to not to misuse this word and not to you know just to dishonor this word dawa is a very big thing very high level to be a dai ila allah qul hadhihi sabili adu ila allah ala basiratin ana wa man ittaban we, we read this ayah in the end of surah yusuf yesterday last night so this is very high level dawa but whosoever aspires to be a dai ila allah ومن احسن قولا ممن دعا الى الله وعمل صالحا وقال انني من المسلمين now he should see that he has to follow these instructions number 1 وما خلقنا السماوات والارض وما بينهما الا بالحق we have not created the heavens and the earth and whatever is in between them without any purpose what does it mean it means wa inna saata laatiyatun that appointed hour will come fas fa his saf al jamil so you just ignore and forgive them in a very gracious way because the day of judgment will come you will be rewarded for you you have to hear today they are saying you are majnoon in the very beginning we, we had that aya ya ayyuha alladhi nuzila alayhi dhikru inna la majnoon but now you have to hear it bear it with patience without retaliation if you also start you know repaying them in the same coins now you will not be a dai then and you know the whole solace to a dai comes that because he believes in the day of judgment if i am suffering today i will be repaid by allah subhanahu wa taala he will give me honor on the day of judgment if they are the criminals they will be punished so i don't care whatever is happening Whosoever doesn't believe in the resurrection, he must be very serious. Okay, he has done this to me. I must take the revenge. But whosoever believes that there is going to be resurrection, the day of judgment, and everyone will be repaid. So I don't have to now very much, you know, think about it. Okay, Allah will give him the reward, and I will get the I will get the reward. I will get the good reward, as you know. We read in Surah Maida, Hadrat Habil. the son of adam what he said to his brother when he said i am going to kill you okay if you want to kill me i am not going to raise my hand against you to kill you if you kill me you will take the burden of all my sins on yourself so what i have to lose i don't stand to lose anything but this can only be the thought if somebody really believes in the hereafter resurrection and the day of judgment and the rewards in the hereafter وما خلقنا السماوات والارض وما بينهما الا بالحق وان الساعه الاتيه فاصفح الصفح الجميل for the time being for the present oh prophet go on forgiving them ان ربك هو الخلاق العليم it is your lord who is the creator and not only خالق خلاق master creator and alim and he is knowing everything if somebody is doing some harm to you can it be in without the knowledge of allah or it is in the knowledge of allah if it is in the knowledge of allah he will punish him and recompense you wa laqad atayna ka sabab min al masani wal quran al azim and we have given you we have blessed you with those seven ayat which are repeated this is surah al fatiha There is a hadith on Ubay ibn Kaab radiyallahu ta'ala an, in which the Prophet said in clear words about Surah Al-Fatiha, وَهِيَ السَّمُ الْمَسَانِ وَهِيَ الْقُرَانُ الْحَكِيمِ This is the Quran Azim in itself, Surah Al-Fatiha is the great Quran, in itself a full Quran. That is why it is called Ummu Al-Quran, Asasu Al-Quran, Al-Kafiya, Al-Shafiya, all these are the names of Surah Al-Fatiha. we have blessed you with such a big treasure of wisdom this is the biggest treasure this of heavy all the wealth 
belongings of this world which we have given them we have given abu lahab wealth we have given abu jahal some authority we have given up walid ibn mughira property so many houses and buildings in makkah so many houses and buildings and gardens in taif but oh muhammad your eyes should never turn to these things they are of no value this should be the the psyche of a person who is real da'il allah that the value of dunya wa ma fiha the whole world and whatever it is it shouldn't be more than as the prophet said the wing of a mosquito had all this world and whatever is it in, in it been in the eyes of allah more than the wing of a mosquito he would not have given any kafir even some water from this world but in his mayor this is nothing useless he gives it to kufar okay take it have it and unless this is the value structure of the person who wants to make dawa he is not a real dai your eyes should not turn to this you should not be impressed wala tojeb ka wala hum wala aulad hum you should not be impressed by their wealth and by their properties la tabuddanna aynaka ila ma matana bihi azwajan min wala tahzan alayhim and also now don't feel grieved over them they are doomed they will be punished they will be chastised they will be thrown in the hell now don't feel sorrow don't be grieved on their account waqf is janaha kalil mu'minin and you low down your wings for those who believe honor them love them they should be they should be valuable in your eyes although he may be a blind person abdullah ibn umm maktum although he might be a black slave bilal although he might belong to you know very low state of the society but whosoever comes to believe in me he should be valuable in your eyes la tamuddanna inayka ila ma matana bi yadwajam minhum number 1 wala tahzan alayhim number 2 waqfis janaha kalil mu'minin